Good morning, Forest Park. Today is April 24th, 2024. I'm Don Jones. I'm the city manager here in the city of Forest Park. Welcome to our show, Off the Cuff. We try and get some information about some of the things that are ongoing in the city and some of the things that are upcoming. So let's get a quick update on some of the things we talked about last week. Our Arbor Day celebration will be Friday the 26th at 10 a.m. It's going to be held at our Veterans Park. So if you'd like to be there, come on out. It's open to the public. We'll be planting a tree. We are a tree city and we are uh, proud to uh, participate for over 30 years. And this is part of our requirements and part of our uh, commitment to being a tree city and making sure that we reforest Forest Park. So Arbor Day celebration, again, it's this Friday, the 26th at 10 a.m. and uh, Veterans Park. So come on out and uh, enjoy the festivities. Also, I want to remind everyone that our Property maintenance inspectors are out and about. You may have saw a lot of the yellow signs. Those are grass signs. Hopefully you, uh, you didn't get one, but we put out over 50 last week and uh, it's time to start mowing that grass. Most of the folks comply, just gotta be reminded. Uh, remind everyone that it's seven inches and if the grass gets over that, you may get a sign. We're gonna be talking to you and we just hope everybody stays up with it this year and uh, keeps those yards looking nice and keeps those grass, keep that grass mowed and keep those weeds down and make everybody's property look really good. Along those same lines, we are interviewing today, actually, for our uh, new full-time property maintenance inspector. So hopefully get that person online within the next 30 days and get them out there. So you can look forward to seeing some new inspectors out there in the community. And, uh, and we're gonna be hiring that new, that new person here shortly, and we'll get them out there and uh, enforce our property maintenance codes and make this uh, community look, look great as it always does. Also want to remind everyone about our beautiful Beautification Commission annual yard contest. We had Megan here last week from our public works or our building department and she talked about it a little bit but uh, again let's remind everyone you do need to register. Registration's ongoing. We want to make sure that everyone gets out there and that's interested in getting their yard judged. Give us a call. Get out there. Register. Registration ends May 31st. The judging is the week of June 17th. We'll be judging all week. That way we don't we'll have plenty of time to get around the city. They're all volunteer judges and they do a great job. And we really appreciate all the hard work they do. And uh, they're gonna hit all the houses in the city, but to make sure that you get looked at, to make sure you get judged, if you really wanna make sure that, that that happens, take it upon yourself, take the responsibility, give us a call and register your house. We'll make sure that our judges get by there and take a look at it. Also our yard sale, the citywide yard sale is coming up on May 4th. We, registration has ended, but you can still participate. Uh, let us know, we'll let everyone know as best we can to uh, publicize that list, that final list of folks uh, the week before. But uh, again, that's uh, May 4th, it'll be our citywide yard sale. So come on out, participate, give uh, our, our environmental department a call. Right, Gwen will be very happy to uh, to talk to you and let you all know all the rules and regulation while you're talking to him. The environmental department also is uh, currently running the uh, Reforest Forest Park program where we are uh, providing trees to be planted here in the community. So if you're interested in that, give our environmental department a call as well. Let's get to a quick update about our most recent city council work session. This was a work session. A work session is an opportunity for our city council members to discuss issues that affect the city, ordinances, regulations, resolutions. It's also an opportunity for the public to weigh in on some of those issues as well. So it's a great opportunity to, uh, to work on uh, basically things that affect the city. So our next city council meeting will be May the 6th. So a lot of these issues that we discuss at work sessions move on to legislation that uh, city council then can take action on at the next meeting. So look, look for that agenda online. Again, it'll be May 6th. But at our work session, it was a long agenda, a lot of public works issues and other issues were discussed. But uh, one of the things that will be of interest to the community is our new library. We talked about the new library, but it's part of our obligation and our partnership with the new library. The city is required to put in a access drive as part of our, as part of our contractual obligations to, uh, to this project. So we want to meet that, but it is the last piece of the pie that the access drive is put in at the end of the project once all the other main construction is, is finished. But we are going to ask that uh, the city's bidding requirements be waived. And the reason for that is we want to piggyback on the existing library contract and use their contractor who's already on site 
already has mobilized, has their equipment there, their people, and is already fenced in the area. They're, they're there, they're ready to go, but we can piggyback on the existing library contract, which was bid out over ten year, two years ago. We'll get two years ago pricing on the, on the, uh, on the contract, and we'll just piggyback on their, on their contract. That, pri that contract was publicly bid by the library board and let to the, the, the lowest and best bidder. So it's already been publicly bid. We're going to get the benefit of two years ago pricing. We're also going to get the benefit of the fact that we don't have to have someone come and mobilize and bring their equipment there. That's a cost that, that we're going to be saving as well. So this is the most efficient use of city funds in order to meet our obligations and our partnership on this great project, this great amenity that's going to benefit our community. So we look forward to meeting our obligations on, uh, on the building of this, uh, of this new amenity. And it's been a great partnership. This will allow the, this ordinance and this resolution will allow the city to uh, meet our obligations and make sure that the library project is on time, opens on time, and is open on budget. So look forward to the opening. I can't wait to uh, cut that ribbon at the end of the summer come, uh, come September. So look forward to that. You will have a lot of updates about that going forward. But that's the reason we're asking for that type of, that type of legislation piggybacking on an already existing publicly bid contract to get the best pricing for our community and get this project built on time and on budget and get it open. We can't wait to see it here in the city of Forest Park. We also discussed uh, a digital sign. If you've been by City Hall, you've seen our digital sign and it is in need of repair. Uh, it can't be repaired anymore, so we're going to replace it. We did an RFP. That's a request for proposals. We did receive uh, two proposals back from sign companies and we're in the process of uh, finalizing those designs with those companies to see what exactly which one we want to use. So that'll be more information about that, but the good news is look forward to a brand new sign here in the City of Forest Park that we can use to communicate to the public and make sure that, uh, again, as part of our, uh, of our commitment to make sure that uh, the, the public knows exactly what's going on and being very transparent. So that sign is very important, it's used and it's a great opportunity for us to communicate to the people of our community and our citizens. So look forward for that, and we'll be looking for input as well if you, as we move forward with the design of that new sign. Also, we'll be coming up at the, uh, at the next council meeting will be the ability to, uh, permission to send in a SORTA grant, that's the Metro grants. If you remember, uh, as part of the uh, tax levy that, that passed a few years back, I believe it was issue seven, uh, it provides funds to communities like ourselves to go out and do repaving of some of the bus lines. So we've used two sort of grants so far to repave Winton Woods and or Winton Road and Kemper Road so far, and we're going to use the next application. Hopefully, we'll get the award. Use the next application and the award for a sort of grant to finish up Kemper Road from Winton all the way down the mill. So we look forward to doing that as part of this SORTA slash Metro grant. And uh, we hope to get to be successful in that grant application. And, but this will give us the ability to apply for that grant and, uh, and hopefully we'll be successful and uh, awarded uh, funds to fix this road and repave this road all the way again from Kemper Road, Kemper Road all the way down from Winton to Mill Road. Finally, we talked about a um, adult use marijuana, and that's the sale of adult use marijuana. Recently, with the, the passage of issue two, many of you will remember that the state of Ohio now is in the process of coming up with rules and regulations at the state level that will regulate uh, the new, again, sale of adult use marijuana here in the state of Ohio. We recently passed, uh, upon that patch of issue two, we passed a uh, a moratorium on the application of uh, any such businesses here in the city of Forest Park. Uh, that moratorium will run out and uh, the state of Ohio looks like it's going to take a little longer for them to get their act together and pass uh, final regulations down to the cities and down to uh, the local jurisdictions. So in order to protect the city's interest, we are looking at passing a prohibition about the sale of adult use marijuana here for the city of Forest Park get that in place, but waiting for the state of Ohio to pass their regulations and their rules so then we can look at that and make an intelligent decision on how we want to regulate 
a, the sale of adult use marijuana here in the city of Forest Park that benefits our community and, and looks at our interests. But we won't know exactly how we can do that until the state of Ohio is done with all of their rules and regulations. So we're going to ask that we pass a ordinance that would prohibit the sale of adult use marijuana until such time as uh, we can come up with our own rules and our own regulations that benefit our community and regulate it the way we want to in conformance with the state rules which have, have not been released yet. So we don't want to have something in place that uh, that may or may not uh, conform with the state. So we're going to wait till they're done with their work and then we'll be ready to act again over the next couple months and discuss this thoroughly and gives us time to make sure that we protect the city of Forest Park's interest and in how we want to act and move forward on this issue. So more to come on that, but you'll see that also on the agenda at the next council meeting. Finally, don't forget, it's Arbor Day this Friday. Uh, come on out again at Veterans Park, 10 a.m. Hope to see you all there and follow us on Facebook. Follow us on our website. We're going to uh, getting ready to launch our new website that's coming out shortly. And uh, so go out there, take a look at it. When it's, We'll let you know exactly when that is going to be available. Follow us on our Facebook page, follow us on our website, and sign up for our e-newsletter. You get a lot of great information there. And uh, we hope to see you next week. So stay safe, Forest Park.